Hello, hello, hello. How are we? Before we jump into this review, let's quickly run some things up because I know you guys are thinking, Ken, where have you been? I have literally been trying to, you know, get new deco. I'm trying to like upgrade my content, just make it a little bit more tasteful. But a lot of the items that I've ordered, then I'm getting here to like the end of the month and I was thinking, damn, I really need to put out makeup content for you guys. I'm so you guys are still seeing this shamble backdrop it's honestly just the things i'm working with sorry there's nothing a girl can do we're in lockdown if you're in london so yeah and you might see some white flakes in my hair it's because of the gel so apologies but yeah so today's video ooh, fancy beauty let's talk about it fancy beauty have come up with a new powder foundation <laughs> foundation <laughs> Fenty Beauty have come up with a new powder foundation. Yes, powder foundation. I can't lie to you guys. I am a liquid babe. I love my liquid foundations. So this is gonna be quite interesting. This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. It comes in 50 different shades, which is like the same as the original one, I believe. I personally picked up this shade for 50, which is my foundation shade, so hopefully, it works for me and i picked up the shade 495 as well as a contour shade i feel like this powder foundation would be nice to contour with so it's claiming to be a long wear light as air no flashback we're gonna be testing it <laughs> blur filter complex to deliver the ultimate blur finish sweat and humidity proof and crease resistant as well it's beautiful light to full coverage formula that loves to be layered okay it's claiming not to set it into fine lines club pores or cake cut it reduces the appearance of shine and you're getting 32 ounces in this and it retails for 36 dollars okay wait i need to get this in pounds and this is 27 pounds for people in the uk i did order this from boots so yeah so i'm quite intrigued to see how this will look on my skin for someone that loves liquid foundation obviously i wanted to give this foundation a third try so i ended up picking up other fenty beauty products as well so i'm going to start off by priming my skin and i'm going to be using the fenty beauty soft silk pro filter it's the hydrating primer so i heard so many good things about this one and i don't want to be left out so i picked it up too okay <laughs> massage that into my skin i like the feel of this but I'm a sucker for hydrating primers, so. Next, I'm gonna be using the What A Do Setting Mist by Fenty Beauty as well. Can I just say, I really appreciate, you know, Fenty Beauty coming up with like 50 shades because they really like to be out there themselves with these shades and I'm here for it. So the way I've been seeing people use it on the Fenty Beauty Insta page is just literally just using it the same way as you will use a powder so that's what i'm gonna do so this is my shade 450 which i won't lie looks super light like girl like this doesn't look like my shade and this is the shade 490 oh my god this is so rich and color i feel like this is gonna be the perfect contour shade for me oh i can't wait to use this i'm gonna be using my elf foundation brush i really want that coverage so i'm gonna use a dense brush Oh, pigment though. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Whoa. No. Cousins. Fenty Beauty. Right off the bat, using a dense brush, I feel like it gives you a medium coverage. But damn. And the color matches me. Right? This is good, this is nice, this is lovely. I feel like all the natural babes will absolutely love this foundation. For girls that like full coverage, you will have to like take a bit of more time like working with this product because you really have to go in and really like press it into your skin. But damn, this is giving me flawless, it's giving me good skin. I know just what I gotta do I just write a song when I think of you So here it goes Promises I don't believe in those Poetry and prose Okay, right off the bat I like this It's giving me natural But coverage But smooth skin 
this is honestly nice and i feel like i'm not wasting products which is good okay so now i'm just gonna do my makeup routine the same way i normally do it and see if that you know affects how this foundation works i'm gonna go in with my conceal and define concealer by revelation the one thing i was a bit concerned about was putting liquid on top of powder because obviously i don't want it to like cake up My concealers are blending normally as they would on like a liquid foundation, so that's a good sign. By the way, how it's feeling on my skin? My face doesn't feel anything, to be fair. To be honest with you, it actually doesn't feel anything. So the claims are lucky to be true. But now I'm gonna use the shade 495. Oh baby, it's just rich. This is just rich in color. This is what the girls need. Like I'm so excited about this. I don't know why. I'm just so freaking excited about this shade. The shade is just giving me everything I want and more. <gasps> no. Oh guys, I literally just broke the dewy what a do mess. Like I literally just broke it. What the heck? Like it just literally just dropped on the floor and just cracked open. This is great, lovely. It would be me, it would it would be me. Like, yeah, yeah, that's just my luck. Anywho, let's go in with the Pro Filter Powder. Again, grabbing a denser brush, because I'll do one or two pigment it. Oh. oh, she's pigment. Okay, Um, I can see that Rihanna didn't come to play, because, wow. Thank God I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this contour shade because a little goes a long way with this one. Wow, oh wow. So it's gonna lose a tiny bit. Just come to my forehead. The only thing now is that do I use a powder on top or can I leave it like this? Because I feel like I can leave it like this and just like set my concealers. Is it weird that I actually like this a lot? I'm grabbing the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm gonna create a lightly set here. Okay, so this is what we're working with. I'm gonna quickly go finish off my makeup and then come back. Okay, so I am back with my face complete and it's time for the verdict. So the new Fenty Beauty Soft Matte powder foundation how are we feeling about it surprisingly i actually really like it one the fact that i'd have to set it i love it and two all the claims that miss riri claimed for this foundation are facts it is 100 percent blur proof like it makes your skin looks really good it's giving me my skin but better type of vibes it's super lightweight absolutely um the light to full coverage part i would say like to medium coverage just because i can see a bit of my imperfection coming through but it's not like scary nonetheless skin looks absolutely great i just wouldn't say you can have a full full coverage with this but a good decent medium coverage it's your girl i feel like this foundation is perfect for everyone my only concern is because i'm so used to liquid foundations I don't know how often I would like reach for this powder. Um, what I think I might actually end up doing is using it as a face powder. Honestly, the fact that I don't have to set this product and it just blends really nice with my skin, I like. And obviously you guys saw that I was a little bit scared at first with my color shade, but it ended up working out for me, which I am super excited about. So I recommend you guys to get the same shade that you're in in the liquid foundation in this powder foundation as well absolutely love the finish of this the shade that i picked up for my contour shade i feel like it's gonna last me a freaking long time which i'm so excited about and i feel like it's money well spent i love the fact that this product is so multi-use so yeah 
nothing else to say this is it for this video i hope you guys like this video i would definitely recommend it you know for you guys i just want to create a point now if you have blemishes on your skin i would recommend you to you know go in and color correct before applying this foundation on just because i feel like it will cover it better and like you won't see like some of your imperfections coming through but nonetheless i absolutely love this foundation i would definitely recommend it so it is cousin approved thank you cousins so much for watching i love and appreciate you guys so much and inshallah i'll see you guys in my next video bye cousins